This is Brandon Mitchell with Recruit 757, and we have 5A state champion head coach from Highland Springs, Coach Johnson. Uh, first off, Coach, talk about what went into preparing for this 7-on-7 seven seven from a mental and a physical point of view. I think in preparation for the 7-on-7, seven seven, mentally, you know, we just talked to the kids about the fundamentals of the game, the rules of the game, because every 7-on-7 seven 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 is different in that regard. Uh, we just want to know what they are up against, who the opponents are, and then we just run the plays that we've been running for years. Uh, just getting them to execute new group, uh, new execution, a younger quarterback throwing since our quarterback is banged up a little bit. Uh, so we just want to make sure they know what's going on. In terms of physical preparation, this is the first one for us this offseason uh, in a team competition. We just want the kids to run around and start getting their legs in shape so they can be ready to go for the season. Okay. Uh, guys got five games in the morning, a couple games in the afternoon. What are you looking into getting out of today's game action? Anytime we go to 707, just execution. You know, people think we come to win, but we want to execute. We want to run the right routes, run the plays that are called quarterbacks, throw the balls in the right places. And then if we do all of those things, we feel like we're getting good work out there. What notable players did you bring out here with you today, Coach? Yeah, all of them. I think all of them are noteworthy. Um, you know, our quarterback, Juwan Carter, who has a Norfolk State officer, he's here, but he's not throwing. Um, you know, Jordan Wall, middle linebacker, he's been the Ivy recruit. Uh, Jaden Revis, Virginia Union offer. James Jackson, tall, slim, wide receiver, getting a lot of work. We got a lot of guys out here, so if I start calling names and continue on, I'm going to get in trouble. Okay. You guys had 23 seniors graduate, having 23 seniors graduate, 13 moving on to, to college. How do you begin to replace that type of quality and that type of quantity? Yeah, right now it's 17 going to college. 17. <laughs> oh, but what we do is continue to work. There's a lot of guys that have been in our system and played with us for a long period of time. Our JV team and JV coach will do a great job. Uh, they, they push the kids and get them prepared and ready to go. Uh, we got a JV team out here playing today. So our kids understand the expectations of what's required of them. And, and replacing guys is just a mere, you know, uh, plug and play type deal. You know, kids have been waiting, they're ready to go, and they know that they, the expectations are high for them. Okay, week one loss to Hermitage. You guys strung together 13 straight games, including a, an avenge win over Hermitage. How did you guys string together that many wins? How, many, how, did, how did you guys string together that many wins? I think probably the biggest thing is the, the unity, the team, the team environment. Our guys are not straggling, going different places. They're around each other, hanging out in an event like this. Uh, we're feeding them, we're talking, we're laughing, we're joking. So the team unity and teamwork is what we're preaching and is what it shows every day. So winning games like that, just, it, it, it exemplifies what we preach and what we talk, being a team at all times.